that's a, that's a man right there talking to his woman saying, yo, baby, you know, I remember you used to do this. You know, you, you used to wear this type of perfume. You, he's trying to, you know, sweet talk. Israel, back. And yet Israel want to continue playing the harlot. Go ahead and read it again, Ak. Go and cry in the ears of Jerusalem, saying, Thus saith Yahweh, I remember thee, the kindness of thy youth, the love of thine espousals, when thou wentest after me in the wilderness, in a land that was not so. See that? And yet we do not want to go back into that marriage with Yahweh for some odd reason. Our people just say they're complacent in the situation that they're in, in this place known as America with three Ks. You have to be out your damn mind to get bombed, murdered, lynched, tortured, uh, you know, castrated, enslaved for hundreds of years, which is still happening to this day, and yet you still stick your neck out for this country. Yep. Look at what happened to the uh, three Judites that got bombed. Why are you in a military that doesn't care for you? Why are you supporting a country that does not give a damn about you? They tortured your people, killed you, and the first thing the so-called black Hispanic man want to do is go and enlist in the army. That's madness. Show me all the Japanese people en enlisting in America's army after they got bombed at Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Show me all the Arabic people enlisting in the American army after they got bombed during Desert Storm. I've, Iraq war, Afghan war, show me it. But yet the so-called black, Hispanic, Native American man, we want to continue to stick our neck out and support this country when you just see it's nothing but plain old Stockholm Syndrome. Syndrome es termo para lo que hablan español. Eso es lo que ustedes tienen. Ustedes aman la gente que te sigue matando. Y ya, yo no sé cómo es que ustedes lo siguen haciendo. Enséñame todos los japoneses en el militar de los Estados Unidos después de que ellos los bombaron. You don't see it. And yet we continuously want to keep walking off, playing the harlot. You had a precept? Go ahead and read that. The book of Isaiah, chapter 44, verse 26. Go ahead. Put me in remembrance. Let us plead together. Declare thou that thou mayest be justified. Put him in remembrance. Thy first father has sinned, and thy teachers have transgressed against me. Therefore I have profaned the princes of the sanctuary, and have given Jacob to the curse, and Israel to reproaches. You see that? We've been given to the curse and reproaches. What are those curses and reproaches? Being called a, a proverb, a byword, being called a so-called black man, being called Dominican, being called Puerto Riches, being called Native American, being called a savage, enslaved. We've been given to these things because our people refuse to hearken to the words of Yahweh. We've been handed over to the enemy. Uh, matter of fact, also grab that to Deuteronomy 28 47. We've been given over to the enemy simply due to the fact that we cannot and still won't do what Yahweh tells us to do. And then you have who? All these fake so-called leaders within the black Hispanic community and they do absolutely nothing for us at all. Nothing at all. Nothing. Show me the so-called black Hispanic leaders in our communities actually benefiting our communities. Instead, they rather what? Get on their knees, give Esau a good old kiss in the tutor, right? Bow down to him, and then tell us to do the same. Why isn't, look, Oprah Winfrey, Puff Daddy, Daddy Yankee, all of them got money, and yet I have yet to see any of them actually establish our communities and make them better. Well, oh, uh -huh, God. The book of Exodus, chapter 25, verse 7. And he took the book of the covenant and read in the audience of the people. And they said, all oh, that Yahweh has said, will we do and be obedient. And Moses took the blood and sprinkled it on the people and said, behold, the blood of the covenant, 
which the Lord has made with you concerning all these words. See, so right there, there was a contract, a pact made, just like a marriage, you feel me? Between a man and a woman. That contract, that pact was made, that covenant was between Yahweh, our God, and us. But what have we continuously done over and over again? Play the harlot, play the harlot, play the harlot. Go lay down with many lovers of philosophies and religions and play the harlot. And it's a damn shame. The so-called black man, the so-called Hispanic man, so-called Native American man, they're a bunch of failures now in, the, in today's times. Because these leaders, these men have done nothing to help us. Show me TD snakes and all these people helping us. Show me Bad Bunny actually influencing the Puerto Ricans to be better. He's not, instead of what is he doing? He teaching little uh, cats how to paint their nails. A grown ass man painting his nails. That's all you see in America. Brother, you need to separate. That's the problem with the so-called black man, Hispanic man. Wanna walk around with a damn dog, a, a damn devil, and think, oh, it's all good. Right. This country does not love you. And yet you continuously still, what, what we do? Play the harlot. Go ahead and read that again. All right, go back to uh, Jeremiah 2 and 2, man. Because this is what you see every day of your life. Now, when you're out in the world, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't bother you. You don't pay attention to it because you're in the matrix. Once you break out of it, now you see all the madness that our people actually do. And it's sickening. Dude, they want to do what uh, what Cypher was doing. They want that ignorance is bliss steak. They want to be able to enjoy that nice piece of raw meat with no consequences. And it ain't good. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 2 and verse 2. Go and cry in the ears of Jerusalem, saying, Thus saith Yehovah, I remember thee, the kindness of thy youth, the love of thine espousal, when thou wentest after me in the wilderness, in a land that was not sown. Israel was holiness unto Yehovah, and the first fruits of his increase. See that we were holiness and yet we continued to play the harlot. Yahweh made a marriage with us and we continued to just to say, screw that contract, F that contract, we're gonna break the covenant and just move on. Just do whatever we want to do. And yet he continuously calls us back. But what do you see the so-called black man do? He wanna walk up and down with a Becky. So-called Native American man, he wanna go around with an Ashley. The Hispanic man. He want to walk around with, with Susan. It's madness. These people have not benefited you. And you continuously play the harlot. Because then what do they do? What do we do? They end up going and following after their ideologies. Thinking that's what's going to benefit their people and their community. Look it out. It's madness. You got to preach Uh, Con. The book of Jeremiah chapter 3 and verse 11. And Yahweh said unto me. The backsliding Israel had justified herself more than treacherous Judah. Again. And that's what our people want to do. Justify themselves in the madness that they do. Yeah, Yahweh made a covenant with us. And we want to justify ourselves in, the, in our wickedness and our in iniquities. Let me get... Because all we want to do is wake our people up and tell them, Hey, so-called Hispanic man, you the greatest man on this planet. You believe that? Y'all yeah, yeah, yeah. brothers, you Hispanic, you Hispanic, so-called Hispanic? Where y'all from? Come on, come on. They don't wow. know, look. Wow. You see that so-called Hispanic man don't know his history? Come over here and turn to me. You say, I'm to hablar con ustedes en minutos. Y'all hate y'all brothers so much, you can't even talk to him. Hey, brother, two minutes. Hey, brother, come on, come right here. All right, go ahead and read that, all right? The book of Romans, chapter 7 and verse 2. Verse 2, for the woman which hath <coughs> for the woman which hath an husband is bound by the law to her husband. Are we not bound to Yahweh? But yet, what do we do? We want to continuously just walk off. Hey brother, I'm about to get you. Come here, brother. Come here, come here, come here. Let me highlight you two minutes, brother. We your brothers up here, King. Look, if he, yeah, text them, tell him, pull up over here. I can't text 
Alright, well real quick, brother, what's your nationality? What's your nationality, King? Your nationality. It does matter. A lot of people don't know that. How? How? Because you might be a Latino. Because you might be eligible for South Asian. Because you might be eligible for South Asian or not. It does matter. How? Because you might be eligible for salvation or not. It depends on your nationality. <coughs> yes, I, I know what I just said. Depending on your nationality. Mm -hmm. Eligible. Yes. Yes. Can you? Uh, hey, the reason why he's saying it is because God is only dealing with a certain people. He ain't dealing with everybody. It doesn't matter about who your nationality is. Of course it, it does. It doesn't matter about who is he talking to in the Bible. Hold on, hold on. Slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, killer. Who is he talking to in the Bible? He is talking to these people. And who is his people? You just said. And who is his people? His creation. Let's find out. Go. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. For thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy God. Thy God is a possessive pronoun. Like those are your pants, these are his people. Thy God, the Lord thy God, hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. What, what, before you say something, what do you think about that precept? What I think is, where in it does it say something about his nationality or what your race is? It doesn't say nothing about that. It's say for there is his people, right? Yeah, brother. It, there's nothing about nationality or your race, right or wrong. Uh, right or wrong. wrong? I was saying, hold on, Brad. Brad, 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 these be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. No, to the whole world. All Israel. Hold up. What? But he's saying to the whole world. You saying? To no, no. He, he's trying to. He's trying to make it. He's trying to make you understand that he's not speaking to everybody. He's only speaking to the children of Israel. Right. He's not. He just said it right there. He said to Moses, who did what? What was Moses' uh, job in the world? What did he do? Did he not take up certain people out of Egypt that was in bondage and slavery and bring them across the Red Sea? Who were those people? The children of Israel. That's but what it just said. Are those the only? Absolutely. <laughs> Listen to this, brother. Listen to this, brother. No, it don't make sense. It don't make so sense what you, you saying? You ain't but look, it. are you no. abbreviated, brother? But look. No, no. So what you saying hey, is, if I'm not. Sorry. Sorry. If I'm not 40 and 17. So where does it matter about what's my nationality? Right here, brother, watch. But the I'm book of Isaiah, God. all you have to do is listen. Is Isaiah a holy man? Is he a prophet, brother? Ooh. Isaiah. Isaiah? Yeah. Let me hear something. Okay, about read. The book of Isaiah, chapter 40 and verse 17. On, all, nations all nations before him before God are as nothing. Are as nothing. Read. And they are counted to him less than nothing and vanity. So what does that mean, brother? I don't know. Can you explain it to me? Because I'm not going to lie. I'm not. I didn't quite understand, so could you break it down for me? A I got you. That's what we're here to do. So go ahead. All nations. I don't want to hear it again. Break it down for me, like I just said. We're gonna, we're gonna, gonna break, break it down. down. All nations which <laughs> before him. So all nations before God. All so that, hold up, stop right here. So all nations is saying what? All nations outside of Israel, outside of Israel, are nothing. All nations before him are as nothing. They are counted to him less than nothing. So do you care about dust? It do me no difference. But would you care what, what a piece of dust a robot would care about? It do me no difference, like I said. That's how all the nations are unto Yahweh. Yeah, let's get 15. Verse 15, it says, Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket and are counted as the small dust of the balanced. Behold, he taketh up the isles as a very little thing. So 
take up the other people is a very little thing. He doesn't regard them. The only people God cares about in this whole entire book is the children of Israel. Got to hear what you're saying right there. Brother, <laughs> I think you should uh, no, no. sober up a little bit. No, because I hear what you're saying. Yeah. No, because like I'm here. Hey, so what they're trying to tell you, bro, is. No, because no. Hold on, hold on. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No. What you got? What you got? This is what he just said. Uh huh. He said, God doesn't regard them. Person they care about is the children of that's, Israel. That's, what we're saying is, what we just read in the Bible is the only people that God cares about is the nation of Israel. That's why we ask you, what's your nationality? That's wrong. Well, so you saying God is wrong? No, what I'm saying is, okay. what y'all trying to display we read, is wrong. We read two scriptures that said that God has a chosen people. That, that's not Y'all taking that very out of context. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. We're not going, we're not going to script you to death. What we say, we're going to give you a position. Hey, real quick, what's your name, bro? That's the apocrypha. This is the, this is the lost hidden books of the Bible. Bro, that's not even. This is the apocrypha. This is the apocrypha. The what? Oh my God. It's the apocrypha. Nigga, that's not the Bible. No, it is the Bible. Do you not? Okay, real quick. Real quick, do you know how the Bible was composed? Real quick, what's your name, bro? I don't, I'm not about to tell you my name because, like, y'all already, like, everything y'all saying. What's wrong, wrong, what's wrong with us? Y'all sitting here saying, <laughs> first of all, y'all catch me off guard. We're my brothers. Okay, listen, that's why, that's why I want to tell you. Let me start over. Let me start over. No, I'm going to tell you our position. Our position is we're teaching our people. You got you got time for me, bro? I don't really. You don't? Okay, don't so, really. so why are you here? Because I said... Y'all come up to me. Okay, so no, let me. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. We got the mic. Let me tell you our position. Hold on, bro. I'm telling you our position is we teach. So why are you here? Because I'm about to tell you. You don't have to be here. <laughs> what we telling you is if you ain't gonna let us let land our position, then you can't tell us. Me, you can't tell me to stop, bro. But look, you stop. I'm telling. Okay, but let, let me tell you our position. We are teaching the Bible. That, the hold Bible. on, that is the Bible. What we're telling you, hold Bible. on, bro. Let me. If I can finish. He won't even if I can finish. If I can finish, bro. If I can finish. We're trying to show our people. Okay, okay, cool. Nah, fuck that. Well, we you're not even letting me talk, so fuck Bro, bro, are you, you going to be cordial? Nah, fuck You're not going to be cordial? No. Why not? Because y'all y'all are capping. Okay, cool. <laughs> okay, cool, <laughs> cool, <laughs> cool. <laughs> what do you got to say? What is that? Say what you got to say. Look, y'all come up to me uh -huh. talking about what's my race. Uh -huh. It's never been. It's not about the race. It's about your spirit. Okay, cool. It's about your spirit. Okay, cool. So when, when has it ever been about... What color you is or what I am? We didn't say color. We said nationality. Exactly. That's two different things, bro. <laughs> two different things. You come out and we talk about what's going on. You gotta calm. You gotta calm down. No. Because we are only out here for our people. That's why we. That's why we ask you what's your nationality. You got a word, sis. So what is your people? The Israelites, the twelve tribes of Israel, God's chosen people. That's what we're trying to tell you. Exactly. So what is that? There's a so-called blacks, Hispanics, and native so-called. That's but all we so ask you. What? What? So, what, so, it, what? so what? What is your, bro? Yeah, real quick, real quick. You gotta calm down. Let no, me, I'm, let me, bro. bro listen, I let listen, you talk. I gave you like, I gave you like two minutes. No, I'm listening. Okay, bro. cool. Can I? Can I? Can we? Okay, cool. Cool. Go ahead and teach. That's all it takes. You see that? That's all it takes. You see that? <laughs> all we want to do is tell the so-called black man he's the greatest man on the planet. He's a god on earth, but niggas want to just walk around acting foolish, man. It's madness, yo. This is madness. You can't even, let, the captain couldn't even justify the position that we have. He couldn't even say, yo, let me tell you the position we have. That's the Northern Kingdom, Mike. Northern Kingdom. Give me Proverbs 28 and hey, now. That's, quick, that's right? the Northern Kingdom. Give me Proverbs 28. And look, look, all we going to do is just try to land our position if they don't got time. Because you, hey, shoot, shoot, commit a word. shoot. Yo, yo, yo. how much time he gave them Edomites over there? Hey, like a good 10 minutes. And he let them talk, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, this is what we're talking about people don't let us really let our position out, right? right? I'm gonna give it right back to you. But listen, if he gave us a minute to let me talk, we could have had him, right? But this is what happens, listen yeah. to that. The book of Proverbs chapter 28 and verse one. Verse nine. Verse nine. Uh -huh. He that turneth away his ear. He that turneth away his ear. I mean, when you listening to the men of the Lord talk, like you was doing a good job teaching the brother, and he didn't want to listen. Ephraim tried it. It didn't work. I tried it.
gave him patience, gave him time, tried to teach him. It didn't work. He turned away his ear. Come on. He that turneth away his ear from hearing the law, uh -huh. even his prayer shall be an abomination. It's crazy. I'm going to get it right back to you. What's crazy is the brother was all over the place. Right, he right. couldn't He couldn't speak. Right. He couldn't talk. He couldn't walk. <laughs> he is a soft target for anybody that's out here to rob somebody. Uh -huh. Let that be known, right? Right, right? Go ahead, King. Yeah, this is, <laughs> no, we can't make this up, man. Hey, he might be a simian knife. He might be a simian knife for all we know. This is just madness out here. Let me uh get. <laughs> you got that Roman seven and uh, yeah. Uh, what was it, seven and two? Oh well, yeah, Roman seven and two about how the the woman is you bound to the man. We as us, we are that woman as the Israelites. We are that woman that's supposed to be bound to Yahweh. He's bound to his vile affections. He's he's bound to his affections. His his vile, He was. We tried. I mean, I mean, it's you know, and it's it's funny, but it's sad because it's like, yo, this is the state of our people. We can't even have a cordial conversation with another brother. He started talking about race and all this. We didn't ask about race and skin color. We said, brother, what's your nationality? And he started, oh, you, you lie, uh, why are you going into skin color? Hey, but he stopped real quick for his yeah, but he let Esau, he, he gave Esau 10, 10, 15 minutes to run his mouth. But as soon as he come up to the brothers, now his spirit get roused up. Right. And yeah, he talking about, oh, it's not about the, it, it's the spirit, it's, it's the spirit. Well, brother, your spirit ain't lining up with ours. <laughs> it's not. You're liberated, you need to go home, shower, drink some water, and freshen up. Because that's just madness. That's why we're not supposed to be drunkards out here. Making ourselves look like fools. But, uh, matter of fact, drop that. Let me get Isaiah 54, verse 5 through 8. And, and, and. The brothers look like they were around my age. You feel me? They didn't look that much older than me. They look like they were probably around my age, 23, 24, maybe. And yet, finished. Beyond the, beyond, uh, outside of their mind, they're just beyond bugged out now. They swallowed up. Yeah, they swallowed up. <laughs> they swallowed up. By who? By who? They swallowed up by the philosophy of what? Christianity and eat them Edomites over there. Dang, hey, Pete Care, how you doing, man? I mean, this is just, it's madness. Go ahead and read that out. The book of Isaiah, chapter 54 and verse 5. For thy maker is thine husband. See that? Yahweh is our husband. We're supposed to be that wife that's what? Bound to Yahweh. Committed to Yahweh. But we went and played the harlot. Go ahead and read. For thy maker is thine husband. The Lord of hosts is his name. No, his name is Jesus. The Lord of hosts is his name. His name is and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, the God of the whole earth, shall he be called. You see that? Now, if that brother would have sat there and listened to that, he'd want to see the God of the whole earth without even understanding what that actually means. Yeah, he created everything and everybody. Yeah, he's the God of the whole earth, but he specifies and specifically says over... How many times does it say uh, he loves Israel in the Bible? It's like over 400.